Hello, this is Maker J1, and today I'm going to show you how to find the values of capacitors, small potentiometers, and resistors. So, we'll start with capacitors. So, capacitance is measured in farads, and so one microfarad, so microfarad is, um, the units is U, F, so one microfarad equals 1,000 nanofarads. So, you can also say that too. One nanofarad equals that many um, microfarads. So, also, one nanofarad equals 1,000 picofarads. Um, picofarads is really small amount. That's the smallest amount there is that I, th I think that's the smallest amount. I'm not sure. Um, and then, you could also say that one, thousand, one, one microfarad equals one million picofarads. So, what you want to look for on the capacitors is you're looking for a three-digit number. So the most common ones um, are a three-digit number. That's the most common way that they're put on. So this one here, the number is zero, or I mean one zero three. Okay, so this one has one zero three. I don't think you can see that, but yeah. So there's one zero three. So the first two digits here, those two digits. Are a are the actual number, so we have ten, okay, so ten, and then there's a three, so the three is the multiplier, so we, so we add three zeros, so one, two, three zeros, and that's going to be picofarads, so put a P and an F, so we have, wow, the camera's out of, okay, so one thousand picofarads, all right, so, <clears throat> or I mean ten thousand picofarads, sorry, all right, so we could also change, so. 1,000 picofarads equals 1 nanofarad. So we could change this to 10 nanofarads. So we've got 10 nanofarads. So this capacitor right here is 10 nanofarads. All right, let's do a different one. So this one is this one right here. This one is the number on it is 47, and then a 2. So we have so we have 47, 2. So that's going to be, so the first two are the actual numbers. So 47, and then we have two zeros. So 1, 2. So this one is 4,700 4, picofarads. So picofarads, PF. So that could also, you could convert it into nanofarads. So that'd be 4.7 nanofarads. So that's pretty simple. So now there's another way that they often will um, mark capacitors. So this capacitor, this type here, these two are like that. This they actually have the there's a this one has a 22 and then there's an n. So the n is actually a decimal point, um, and the other two are just digits. This one is a 3n. Nine, so this one I'll write the number. I don't think you can see that. It looks like two two, and then there's an n. So this one is twenty two nanofarads. So you could just put an f there, and that's twenty two nanofarads. So that's pretty simple. And this one is thirty three point three decimal nine, and that's gonna be nanofarads. And on the capacitor, it looks like three n. Nine. So this on a capacitor equals this. So yeah, that's pretty simple. All right, so we'll m move on to variable little potentiometers, and those are pretty simple too. They use almost the same, um, s the same sort of a uh, system. This one is a five zero two. So this is going to be fifty. Oh, first I gotta. Sh okay, so one thousand. Ohm, so resistance is measured in ohms, so 1,000 ohms equals 1 kilo ohm, and 1 million ohms equals 1 mega ohm. So, yeah. Okay, so, so f this one has the number 502 on it, so this is basically the same, so it's going to be 50, and then we add two zeros, because that's the multiplier. This is the actual number, this is the multiplier. So we've got... 5,000 ohms, so 
and that is equivalent to 5 kilo ohms. So pretty simple. So we'll do another one, just this one, the number is 473. So we've got 473. And then we have, so these two are the digits, and this one is the multiplier. So we have 47, 1, 2, 3 zeros, and we can make it to 47 kilo ohms. So pretty simple. So this is ohms here. Okay, so now we'll move on to resistors, which are a little bit more complicated, but basically the same, or similar. So, resistors will usually have four rings of color on them. Uh, the camera's out of focus again. Okay, so resistors have four rings of color on them. So this one here has a brown, a black, a yellow, and a silver line. This one has brown, 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 gold line. So the lines represent different numbers. So the first two are the actual digits. So this one is brown, black. So we have brown and a black, so that's 10. So we have 10 ohms, and then we have, and then the last digit is a yellow. Yellow is down here, so that's the multiplier. The third one is the multiplier. So we have, let me move this up. Okay, so we have, so Brett, so brown, black, yellow, so 1, 0, and then 10,000. So we have 1, 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 zeros. So that's how many ohms it is. And if we want to change that to kilo ohms, we just take three zeros off, and we have kilo ohms. So it's one, this one is a 100 kilo ohm resistor, so 100 kilo ohm resistor. And this one here is a, oh, and the, the last band, the fourth color, is the tolerance. So this one is silver, so it's 10%. So that's how accurate it is, so, or how precise. So if it was gold, it's 5%. If it's no color, it's 20%. So now if we, so now we're going to do this one. So this one is brown, brown, brown. So we have brown. So that's 1, 1, and then 10. So that's the multiplier. So we've got 1, 1, 0. So that's going to be 110 ohms. Pretty simple. So, so yeah, I hope this helps. Um, so yeah, and you can print these off. There's lots online. We don't have a color printer, so I just colored mine with marker. That works fine. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.